Well, I'm in Edmonton right now. We're going to proceed to Wilson's East Central and do an auction pre preview. There's some good stuff. There's there's some good red power. There's a 706. So there's two 706s, a 606, and a 5088 for sure there. Plus there's a John Deere 4230 with Wheatland style fenders, which is very unique. And there's also there's a whole bunch of other night neat stuff there. So let's go check it out. Well, look at the red power we got to start with. Here's a 5088. Tires are good. It looks like 14L, 16 ones on the front. Sold by Pentagon. Tires, the back tires need attention. They'll run a little bit, but they're down the. They should be replaced. You don't have a lot of traction on them. It's got the western interior on it, they're real nice. Except they did the little fixing here, but still, he, it's a nice, the interior is kept pretty good for its age. It's 87, 82.91 is what the hours see. It's got big hubs for duels, and the duels are here. I don't know if they come with it or they sold separately. It's got dual PTOs. It's got triple remotes. There again, this back tire should have a tension. Oh, what's up with these ready rods on the dual hubs? This tire's cracked a bit, they'll run a long time, but still, it's still a nice, well straight, well taken care of tractor, though you can see that. So there's a 5088 for somebody. Here's a 706. This one, somebody, they, they built something like windbreakers for these, like uh, IH offered something called the windbreaker that they put over them. I don't think this, I don't know if this is the real deal, I don't think so, but it's like one. It might be an original, who knows. What's the serial number on this tractor? I think it says 3063, so that makes this a 64, late 64, or early 65. It's a nice straight tractor. 1016s on the front, which is usually usually they have 20s on the front, but this has the bigger rubber. 18434 is very typical on a 706. Fenders are nice and straight. It's got an empty, an ugly cab on it. Somebody made a homemade three point hitch out of the original drawbar. The fan is, they, they've got this. It's actually wooden, got wooden panels on it. It's got dual hydraulics, plus it's got an extra valves, they got extra valves on it. The interior is good, like the gauges and stuff, are, the gauges are good, like the tackle is like, looks good, but the hands are broken off. It's nice. It's a nice old tractor. I, if I got a tractor, I'd pull, pull, of course, pull a cab off, but we got three 706s. This tire's like new. It's full of mud, so it's hard to tell, but it's like new. Very nice 706 with a loader and a bail for it. Here's a 606. That's why I think it's got seven, the, the front tires are real good. They're 750, 16s are typical on a 606. The, the hubs are turned backwards. It's got the wheel weights on the in, inside of the tub. The, the, the hubs are turned around to give it a wider stance. Should be 16, 928s in the R. Shows 32, 20 original hours. It wouldn't surprise me if that's right. But there again, they built they, this is a windbreaker on this one, too. I haven't seen many tractors with a windbreaker on, and here we have here we saw two. This one's got just the drawbar, which is typical. Somebody made an improvised put a cylinder on to make an improvised three point hitch, but that's the typical drawbar in the states. Then they 
they usually put three points on them, but not here. Like that, it's original paint, like a deco like this. I doubt if it's repainted, that's proper. Yeah, putting the uh, back tires are real good, front tires are real good. Instead of putting the, uh, and there again, sometimes, sometimes people like uh, having gauges instead of idiot lights on it, too. But there's a fairly nice 606 for you. This is supposed to be a WF Ellis Chalmers. I don't know much about these, but I think they're like a standard dread version of a WC or something like that. Nice, or it's painted really nice. Like, is it a perfect restoration? No, but it's nice and straight. It's painted nice. You don't have to be ashamed of this tractor. It's a very nice tractor. The rubber's good on the back and, and the front, actually. You don't have to be embarrassed of this one at the show. I don't know what they did with the platform. It looks kind of homemade, but it's a nice little Ellis Chalmers for somebody. There's an LA case. This, I think they had a blade in the, on the front for pushing snow in the winter. They actually, it's actually a nice straight looking tractor, although this must have been sitting on the ground that rusted up, it rusted a bit, which is unfortunate because that wood is perfect. It's got 18 430 tires, I believe. Yeah, a 15 30, so these are, these are, these are 60 year old tires. Got the hand clutch on the left side on this. This one's got a brand new 18 430 tire on this side. It's a very nice old tractor for somebody. Here's a John Deere 3130 with a loader on it. Looks like they built a quick attach or something on it. Got good front other than front tire bets cut. It's actually fairly straight, although the front's been beat up a bit the rest of the, the tractor. Well, it went up a bit too. It's not that straight. It's got a cab on it. This tire has little checks in it, but it's not, it's, it's not what I would call rotten. Like it would run for a few years yet. It's got dual hydraulics on it and it's got two speed PTO because that's what John Deere does. does. This tire is good too, like it's certainly like light, light cracks but they'll run a long time. It's got a John Deere loader. This tire is real good on the front. So this is not a bad looking John Deere, it really isn't. Here's a 706 like mine, the real nice one. This one actually even has its original muffler on it yet. Look how straight it is. It's missing the battery cover and the problem is, is that these smaller tractors, like the 806 gives you room and you can put the battery lids on these 3 eh batteries, but the original batteries on the 706s were lower. And therefore you can't use those so they just strap them in. This one's got the toolbox, same as mine. 4779, that's why I'm thinking this is a 1966, just like mine. It's pretty much the same tractor, but mine has a generator at it, which is unusual for one this age. Ah, somebody else is looking. I'll, re I'll refill them this when they're gone. Okay, they're, they, they're gone, so you gotta remember other people have, when you film, other people have just as much right to be here as you do. It's got an ugly cab on it. <laughs> That's gotta go if I bought something like this, but I wouldn't be buying this because I got a good one. Nice tires on the back, very nice tires. This one's got the 750 20s at the front, which is what they usually have. Look at the drawbar, like that drawbar hasn't done a lot of work. Look how nice the hole is. This is a nice tractor. Given the fact that the drawbar is like this, I'm gonna bet that was original. Yeah, it shows 5,042.5 hours on it. 
This nice old tractor. It's got it only got one remote though. And this this has the flasher on the fender, which they do on the left fenders on the later 706s. Very it, 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 there's a dent on the fender here. But the rest of the tractor is absolutely perfect. Like this is one of the best 706s you'll, you'll find anywhere. And the 750 20 fronts are typical. So there's a very nice 706 for you. I'm gonna check the oil in it and see how dirty it is. It's not terrible for a 282. 282s contaminate the oil, that's just the way they are, but I think this tractor's been fairly well taken care of. So there's a very nice 706 for somebody. Here's the Comfort King and 830. Looks at actually the grills are missing and it needs screens, but the rest of the tractor's pretty straight. Looks like a tire comes with it. That 750 18s on the front. Nice rears, they're 18 430s, real nice ones. These are starting to really catch on with people again, these Comfort Kings. It's got dual hydraulics and the PTO on it. So there's a very nice Comfort King and nice 830 for somebody. Here's a Case 930 Comfort King with a dual loader. M missing the grills again, but what's with the uh, bowl missing on the air cleaner? That's not good. It's a concern of mine. I, it would devalue the tractor somewhat, of course. It's got fairly good sized tires. They look like 1016s in the air, and I think these are 34s on the back. It's got dry cell battery on it. Like it's fairly nice and straight. I don't know why they take the grip, why the grills are gone. They probably beat up so bad, I guess. Dual remotes, PTO. The tires are actually decent. Like this one's got some smiles in it, but it's not. And the sidewall, but it's not that. It, I think it'll run. So there's a case 8, 830 for somebody. Pardon me, this is a case 930 for somebody. Here's a 3020 John Deere right here, the front tires. Yeah, they'll run a bit, all right. This one's a gas 3020. It's got, it's a standard 3020. This one's got new tires on the back, or this one is. It's got dual remotes. Two-speed PTO like it was typical. This one's the power shift. This tire is, it's not a matching set, but this tire's not bad. It's got a loader frame for a 46A John Deere loader. So there's a little 3020 power shift gasoline model for somebody. Here's a little Ford Snazer diesel. Front tires are crack cracked, but the back look all right. Three point hit, which is the Ford thing. This tire is real nice too. I think the back the rears are actually matching Firestone. So there you go. There's a little Ford thing for somebody. Here's a Massey 102 Junior. This tractor looks like it needs a lot of TLC or it's a parts tractor. One of the two. Definitely needs a lot. There's the oil pad for it. No, it's not the oil pad for it. Somebody just used the oil pad for a toolbox. But this this is uncovered stuff. It needs work. So there you go. Here's a Massey Ferguson Super 95. You got 18 434s on the back, and they're probably about 30% and cracked a bit, but they'll run like these are actually a Minneapolis built track. I think G705 or G706, something like that. I can't remember what the Minneapolis is. Back wheel weights are WD9 ones. So there's a uh, Massey Ferguson for somebody. 
Here's a Massey Ferguson 1500 four wheel drive tractor. It says 3150 cal. I thought there's a 3208, but it's not. Or it might be a form of a 3208, but I, I, I've never seen one of these before. You got belts running the hydraulic pumps on this. Got 18 438s of singles all the way around. There, there's what you get just the basic tractor. It's got a couple gear shifts on it, so it's uh, manual with an auxiliary or a 10 speed with a high low range on it. These tires aren't bad, they got some cracks in them but they'll run uh, four remotes it's an awfully small drop in for this tractor but anyways it's a nice straight tractor which four wheel drives usually are so there's a massy four four wheel drive for you here's an 830 case another comfort king this one's a nice one it's no, it's very straight you know, it's a little little bit right here the wood is bent but for the most part it's really straight it's definitely not been repainted with the patent numbers on it nice rubber on the back 18 is on this one it's got it's got one hydraulic outlet is all just have a look at this thing. Sure straight. Given the quality of it, I'm gonna give it the hours 3014.1. This is a brand new tire on it. Somebody took care of this tractor, you can tell. Westlake Chinese. So there's a very nice comfort king for somebody. Here's a 4230 John Deere with a 148 lot loader. Somebody really beat the exhaust. I don't care for that. They must have ran into something or something like that. But I don't care for that. But this is kind of unusual having fenders on these. Most of these, most people, by the time these rolled around, they had they had the cabs on the sound guard cabs, and this one doesn't. Just fenders. The tractor's had a brush paint job, looks like crap, but uh, I thought it was really unusual to see fenders on these and they've cut the platform out to put that on which is unfortunate too. Nice tires, 18 434, but look at the rim, the rim seem, it seemed better days. It's got a drawbar on it. Two remotes. Real nice set of tires on it. it all, as rough as it, as it is, someone saw enough of it to put new rubber on anyways. But there's a 4230 John Deere for somebody. Here's a case. That is another Comfort King. It's either an 830 or a 930. I think this is an 830, it looks like an allied loader on it. Yeah, it's an 830, this is the gasoline model. Oh, it's a 730, pardon me, a 730. Tires are serviceable, like they're not new, they got some cracks, but they're definitely serviceable. For a loader tractor, it's actually pretty straight. It's got two remotes on it, which you need for running a loader. There again, this tire is about the same. It's a nice little tractor. It's not, it's not beat up bad at all. And the gas, this the, the, the tractor this size and gas in a standard in this era, that's fairly rare actually. So there's a nice case for somebody. Here's a Steiger Panther 1000. It's got a Dagelman blade by the look of it. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, 3406 cat a V bot by the look of it. It's a nice big tractor. These look like 20 point or no, these are 24 532 duels. So this is a 400 horse tractor probably. 
tires are all I'd say 25% maybe they're not that good but they're they're serviceable and not check that bad I've got to look at this thing for a minute because I haven't been the Steiger this size before this is all digital they're all digital uh, gauges and stuff This has got a power shift transmission in it. Nice old tractor. Look at, look at the view in the front. It's fairly good size. It's got a Panasonic radio in it. This is, nice old, this is a nice big tractor. 12 speed power shift is what it is. It's nice big tractor it really is i think it's been well taken care of look at the drawbar on this there again look at the size of the tractor it's got quadruple remotes on it if i wanted a big tractor i'd be seriously looking at one of these steiger's a good tractor and the cat engine in to boot the 3406 it's a good good unit it really is there you go. I don't usually do tractors this new, but this one really got my attention. Case IH7140, a Magnum. I think it's been repainted. This is not, no way this is original. Very nice tractor. It's got tall, skinny tires like these are. So what size? 14,946. So must be a real special application. It is with a three-point hitch. You must be doing something real special with this tractor because it's a special application for us. Like I, some of my viewers and subscribers probably have seen these. Like the inner tires are good, but the outer, the duals are not as good. But for duals, you don't need that good. This is a very nice tractor, it really is. I think they took the muffler off though and just put a straight pipe on, but there's a magnum for somebody. Here's an 8440 John Deere. This front tire is just smiling right at, at you. Nice and straight. Peace Farm Power, Grand Prairie, Alberta. So this is this come from the North Country. Yeah, these are smiling at these are just smiling at me. Drawbar, triple remotes, heavy duty drawbar. Nice big tractor. If this is a green guy. It could be for you. Well, if you're cougar hunting, here's a Steiger for you. I thought cougar hunting was just limited to four-legged and two-legged, but here's a different kind of cougar. Nice tractor. And of course, the cab takes is like the big internationals, like the 4366 and 4386 and 47s and stuff like that, because they are Steiger-built tractors, but... It's a nice tractor. I think these are 18438 or 20.8s or 20.8s. The tires aren't great. Heavy duty drawbar there. Again, it resembles a 4366 drawbar, but it's heavier. It's got quadruple remotes on it. There's a nice Steiger for somebody. There you go, Cummins powered. Here's a Versatile 976. This is when Ford bought them out, I guess. It's Cummins powered. It's looks like 24-532 rubber on it. It's nice straight, of course, the big tractors always are. Rubber is serviceable, it's not the best. Like, the, the, these inner ones need attention. They, they're wore out, I can even give them 10%. The outer ones are better. Five remotes, or, or four remotes, plus they got 
these are doubled up for some, these these are teed off for a fifth one but it must be for two eight two functions you handle at once I don't know there's a big versatile for somebody needs rubber though that's the only thing here's an 8430 John Deere it's actually got so, so it's a mix of good rubber and poorer ones but the tires are all serviceable it's nice and straight triple remote uh, it doesn't look like anybody, nobody's beat up on this one. Actually, the rubber is all, all very good, I would say. All fairly decent. There's only two tires that aren't great, but they are serviceable. Let's see what we got for oil in them. Oil needs to change. It looks a little pasty to me. I wouldn't run them that, I wouldn't run oil changes that long, but here's a nice little jet. Well, I guess little to today's standards the four wheel drives John Deere 8430. Here's a John Deere 4440. Brand new rubber on the front. These these tractors are dear. They are very well they're very sought after because you can't get anything of this quality anymore. Especially in John Deere. New duels are good though. The inner ones are not so good. I'd switch them around. Dual remotes on the back. They got John Deere the Pioneer adapters in it, so they, get, they left that to, for someone for an added bonus for whoever buys this tractor. This tire's smiling at you. So there's a 4440 for somebody. Well, that was a pretty decent auction sale. I, li I really like the second 706 without the loader. There's some, uh, that, I really like the Steiger. Stay tuned for part two. Should be out in the next couple of days. We got a lot more on there. We uh, cover all the implements and all the, and there's a Cat D6D, a real nice one there. And there's a whole bunch of other neat stuff there. Neat antiques and stuff, and even some of our favorite grease. So God bless you. See you in the next video.